in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Well, hello there everyone. It has been roughly a week since I recorded anything for the last episode, but that does not mean I have not been hard at work. Woody has been grinding, let me tell you. And I've got some fruits of my labour. We now have the entire graceful Valamor set. Let's go! It's taken so long, honestly. I'm going to tell you all about it while I get on with some achievement diary tasks here. And I'm actually going to keep that task because it's one we can do for the Lumbridge diary. And yeah, yeah, let me show you all the grinds we've done. I have gained 31 levels. Here we are, old stats to new. We've gone up. 10 smithing levels. I had to do that to get a myth grapple so that I could do the Shazian advance course because it was the only place that I could earn Max of Grace. Got a herb law level somewhere. This was from like the end of the last episode towards 12 agility levels. I've done so much agility, honestly. I'm happy to not have to run a lap for the near future now. Fourth fletching levels as well that we needed for that grapple and that came from bolts that I smithed along the way. And I think that's it for the most part. Mainly the big ones are smithing and agility. And it was because I needed that myth grapple to use with the crossbow to do the Shazian advanced course, which I've done 601 laps off <laughs> at this stage. Yeah, it's rough. And 165 laps of the worm was all it took to get that recolor done. I've got two termites left over, but they're not going to get used. Pretty much where we're at. I'll spare you the, the horrible details of how bad it was getting graceful marks. But it's done now, and I don't have to worry about the legitimacy. Oh, I'm wearing graceful light. It's good. We got the Valmore graceful. I've done my part. We're starting to look sick with over 1,400 total level. So yeah, I figured I'd just do a couple of diaries and odd jobs that I had. Odd jobs being quests. I just thought that would be fun to knock out because I've been doing nothing but agility for the past five days. <laughs> I needed to do something else. And uh, let me tell you what the point of all this is as well. I've been trying to thief from the gem stalls in Valamore and it takes a lot of run energy and I was running out constantly so I thought fuck it I just need to get this grind over and done with so I never have to look at a stupid mark of grace again. Uh, and that's so that we can get our thieving level up because I need to get all the way up to 83 so I can use the wilderness rogues chest at which point I'm also planning to have the wilderness medium diary done so that we'll get the full amount of loot from the chest. I'm going to just mark this one as done and then move on. But yeah, I want to get in that chest because it has dragon stones inside it and without a crystal key crystal chest, we don't have a great reliable way to get dragon stones. Uh, farming those moon keys I thought might be an option, but as we discovered in the last episode, it is a bit too slow to farm them. You sort of just more turn them in when you have them, I think. But yeah, we've got a fat stack of cash right now. I've got like orbs and staffs in the bank that I just haven't gotten to yet. The nice thing about the thieving grind for the gems that I'm planning to do though, I don't know if I'm going to do it all at the Forest Gem stores yet. I may move to Dorgish Can Rich Chest at level 78 thieving. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to see how both feel. But we're going to bank a lot of uncut gems, which is fantastic. It just means that we'll have a ton of crafting XP so that hopefully by the time we do get to that dragon stone, we will hopefully be closer to the crafting level we need for making it into a combat bracelet. Animal magnetism is not that long, is it? Probably crack that out quick enough. Yeah, now that we've got full graceful, I think the era of the fedora is truly over. 
Like we're starting to get into more difficult fights where we want gear anyway. I think I think it'll come out for special occasions. That's what'll happen. Like if I'm doing a boss for the first time, it'll be with the fedora, and then after that, I'll actually start using gear probably. First run of Chambers of Zerik. Gotta be with the fedora. Gotta be for good luck. As far away as that might be at this stage, I really have no idea how I'm gonna even attempt it. I don't even know how to do it on my main account, so uh, that's kind of just me forcing myself to learn it by doing this series. Well, to be fair, I'll probably need to learn it in leagues if I'm going Zaya, which I may be. I almost ran back to the start and started again. I'm in that much of an agility mindset. Let me get out of this disgusting area that's not legal. And then go right back for the uh, viral. I didn't bring a... T oh, I did bring a tiara all mine about. Bang. Drop those. We just have the Avers one left, which is animal magnetism. So I guess it's time to break some rules. Not too much. Just a couple things here and there. And I guess we'll finally get access to our Avers. I am going to allow it, I've decided. For one reason. Once this quest is done, we never have to break our rules to use the Avers. It is acquired within our region. If I lose it, I can get another one without leaving my regions. It's all good. And I think for that purpose, I'm going to allow myself. Something that, that's come to my attention from Achievement Diaries, though, that I haven't addressed yet on camera, is that the Lumbridge Elite Diary requires you to have a quest cape. And I'm simply not going to do that. I, I could. I could say, yeah, it fits in my rules. Like, I'll just go get the quest cape. But I don't want Woody to do every quest in RuneScape. That, that feels like it's getting a bit too far. Most of the other ones are just like, you know, you need the Luna spellbook or the Arcaea spellbook. I'm fine with unlocking those because I'll never be able to get onto them anyway. I realised before I'd mentioned having a mage cape and being able to change them with that, but the mage cape comes from your nil, so there's no danger of that. It's not going to happen. So yeah, if I have to unlock Ancients and I have to unlock Lunas, then I'm willing to do that, but I'm not willing to go and do every quest in the game. That is definitely a step too far, so unfortunately, the Lumbridge and Drainer Elite is going to be permanently out of bounds for us. That is just the way it is. Don't know why I need a game's necklace. Oh, Ecto tokens. Fuck. Not often I can make use of the Arcade's teleports, but this is a situation where they would be handy. And there we are. The quest is done, and to purchase an upgraded device from Ava, all we have to do is that like a few times because saves me the trip back here yay and we've got the reward now too let's just go home to change our spell book okay we finally have a teleport to the drain or cabbage patch three times a day and of course a lovely seven and a half thousand herb law xp gets me all the way up to 54 beautiful stuff can't get to 55 just yet but that is certainly nice i'm gonna go do the the new valamore quests next there's like three of them, so I'm just going to whack them out. Oh, actually, one of them requires Shield of a Rav, so I need to whack that out as well. I'll figure it out. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, so I actually just knocked out Shield of a Rav with a stranger from the chat channel while I was rolling my smoke. It did not take very long, obviously. We are now able to do all the Valamore quests, so... And there we go, Death on the Isle is also completed. Some extra thieving XP is nice, though it's a drop in the water really, as is the rest. But I'm not going to complain at any of it, and we can go get that costume needle now. Which is nice, because if I ever go to like lizard men or stone chests or anything, then I can take it with me without having to take thread as well. It's just one invent slot. Basically anywhere where I'm getting things I can sew on the spot is one less spot and it's just a nice one to have for those who don't know this never uses thread it's just a needle that you can always use i would like the butler's tray please thank you very much i love this fucking item it's so cool so needlessly pointless but it's so cool right time to do the other quest in this area oh before we leave alderin though there's a, a statue we can now get to i believe or one that wouldn't work for us before we'd completed that quest but now will down here in case i ever want that it might be a nice way to get to a chart ship actually a couple shops here i haven't checked out so let's have a nosy in those two. Oh, hang on the steps to this it's not that simple 
I'm gonna do it. Let's look in the shops first. Oh, we can get some grips there, that's okay. I was complaining that we wouldn't have a way to get them, but that's definitely better than, like, collecting them ourselves. Okay, we got gems here. Got actual gems. That could be a handy crafting method. It would have been nice to have way, way earlier in the account. So we gotta pickpocket this key from Constantius. And then open this chest down here. Taken for a clean, be back soon. Is that right, Goose Chase? There we go. There we go. Spit out a water rune. Okay, whatever. Mm, do I need to do this right now? Cooking XP is not really important. Yeah, this one I'll do. I'll get the extra thieving XP for sure. It took me so long to do this the first time. I just did not realise there was a meter here at all for ages. So I had no idea what was good and what was bad. I was just picking what I thought was right. Jeez, that was so much quicker. Cheers, quest helper. And there's ethically acquired antiquities for another 6,000 thieving XP. I think at this point I am just gonna... I'm gonna go do the thieving grind. So I'm on 75 at the minute. May as well show y'all what the plan is, seeing as though I'm nearby anyway. All I will be doing for the next X hours until I hit 83 thieving or 78 and then seeing what the doggish can chest feel like. Steal from this one, we run to this spot. We steal from this one, we hop worlds. Most of the time it's a sapphire, sometimes it's something better. The best it can be is a diamond though. And we get lots of banked crafting XP and we get very decent thieving XP. 408 per... Then you have to run to the bank to bank them as well. So that's where the energy comes in and it was getting a little rough. I'm hoping now to full grace, but it should be a little better. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm on the other side of this grind. Hello again everyone, it's been about 28, 30 hours since the last clip when I was at the gem stall. I did stay there till 78 and then I moved here because the XP is just so much better. It's 650 per loot rather than 408 or something. So it's just better and the variety of gems that you get is nicer, especially things that we would usually get from Karamjan gem rocks that we never get access to in this account, like jades, opals and topaz. Those have been nice, so in fact I need to get those topaz in that tab because I've never run to them before and now we've got 87 of them. Very nice, I can make myself some burning amulets, some bracelets of slaughter as well as some expeditious bracelets for... The tasks that I want to get done quicker. So lots of nice supplies gathered there. Tons of gems up to 66 crafting. I've still got a bit of the way to go I'm afraid. I am I'm currently 82 thieving. I got two more levels to go. It's 84. I thought it was 83 but it's not. It's 84 and I've just seen that and remembered I need to go to Zaff Staff. So I completely missed it yesterday. Shame on me. But after I do that, I'm going to make some dueling rings. Because <laughs> I've just realised how low on them I am. And then I'm going to take a break from this. Because I've been doing horrible long grinds recently and I want to do something more interesting. And I haven't an, had a good idea of what that might be. But first, while I'm doing these dueling rings, let me just complain to y'all about how bloody awful smithing was on this account. Because I completely forgot to mention how painful that grind is. It's not good, y'all. We don't get a coal sack, we don't get blast furnace reduced coal rate, we have to go to the furnace and do it one by one, and let me tell you, it's not pretty at all. The way it works out is, you have to basically do nine pieces of iron to the rest of coal, so I get nine bars per invent running back and forth, and slowly melting nine bars at a time. With uh, myth it works out to five to the rest coal. And it just gets worse every time you go up, basically. So many trips back and forth. I made like 3,000 steel bars. They all got made into bolts eventually, which are now uh, 22,000 steel bolts that will never go anywhere. I was going to make darts so that I could throw them at things, but I can't make darts because I haven't done tourist trap. We don't have the desert. <laughs> so that wasn't an option. So yeah, actually making the the bolts once we had the bars wasn't too bad because i could just click on an anvil afk for 27 cycles and then come back to it but making the bars themselves is an absolute piss take on this account and it's never going to get better smithing is probably one of the worst skills for me to train which is crazy because it's not usually that bad at all 
usually got goldsmith gauntlets and blast furnace and you're away but yeah i just remembered i needed to address that before before we move on to the actual exciting task of the day mini rant over but it's always nice to show the weird and horrible things that i suffer from my self-imposed restrictions <laughs> The things that made me wonder why I decided to do this. So, where I'm heading after this actually has nothing to do with dueling rings. I just didn't want to be that low on them. We are going to head over to Winter Todd. It has been updated today. They have made a couple of changes. And it is theoretically, from what I understand, possible now to infinitely sustain oneself without using any food. So... I gotta go check it out, because that was the problem we were having, is that our max HP was too high and we were getting hit by Todd too much. But th they've changed that system now, so it's not hitting your health anymore, and it's not based on how much max health you have. So I shouldn't be getting punished for that anymore. And they've also made the rejuve potions able to heal you. So I don't think I need to bring food in. One player, is every world gonna be full? Because they've just updated it. Not full, but you know, have a player in it. I don't want to crash somebody who's soloing. <laughs> so far I am struggling to find any worlds that don't have people in them. This is rough. Maybe I did not choose a good time to do this because of it just being released. It's, it's crazy. Literally every single world has somebody in it right now. Like one to three people. It's actually wild. I mean, it makes perfect sense. The update just happened like three hours ago. I'm just surprised. I'm gonna give it this difficult. 100% there's one person in there. I'm just gonna ask them. Okay, so I'm in a duo with a friendly Iron Man here. Oh, so that's what my meter looks like, and it's up here as well, my warmth. Just gonna get a couple more of them. And we should be able to drink this now. And that restored my warmth, like, all the way up. You can left-click them. Okay, it doesn't bring you up to full every time, but... So far, this is super chill. Kind of nice actually having someone to talk to. We're just sort of chilling, talking about how much better this is than it used to be. Not having to use any food whatsoever. It's amazing. You just drink some of your potion every now and then, and you're chilling. One hour later. Okay, we are just wrapping things up here. We're about to close this one out. Got 14,405 points because I want to test if the cap still exists or not. It used to be, I think, a max of 28 rewards. So if we get more than that, then we're Gucci. Plus, it should show the amount now because it tracks rewards separately rather than giving you a crit. Yep, 30 rewards from that. Okay, and then we get this rewards card. Let's see what we get, folks. Got the torch. First unique coming in from Todd. All right, no other uniques there. A few little herbs though, and some random other supplies for about an hour's work. Well, that's not too bad at all. That is actually very, very farmable now, and there's no more cap, so you can literally do it for six hours if you want to. I don't know if I would do it for that long, because I smoke too much, but the fact that the, there's no number to aim for, you can just do it for as long as you feel like it, and then done. I like that, I dig it. Yeah, that, that was very reasonable. Very, very reasonable. Not having to use any food at all, it's super nice, and we got the broom of torch, so upgrade next time we come back here. We don't even have to use a tinderbox anymore, and we don't need the lit bug lantern either. Very nice. 
I definitely will be doing some more of this soon. Just whenever I, I want down to chill time, when I'm, maybe I'm watching something on the other monitor, and yeah, I'll make sure to, to do any chest opens on screen, given the fact that they now stack up nicely here for us. So, very cool. Gonna go back to the dogish can chests now, though, after that little hiatus. So, I'll see you all when I finally, finally get 84th even. Well, it has taken an awfully long time, folks, but finally have 84 thieving. We can use the Wilderness Rogues chests, however, I am going to wait until after I've done the Wilderness Medium Diary, as though we have all the requirements for it anyway, because there is an additional... Uh, basically, you only get 75% of the base loot from the Wilderness Rogues chests until you've done the Medium Diary, and then you get like 100% the normal base loot. And then you get an extra 25% again at the Hard Tier, which makes that even better, but the Hard Tier is a bit further away for now. There's more skilling grinds. So I'm not going to worry about that, but I do just want to get the base chance before I go out there. There's been so many skilling grinds in this video. Smithing, agility, fletching, thieving, all of it. And we've got more to go still. They'll be crafting before I'm through to my next section. Yeah, we're going to have to do some crafting still. We did get a decent amount of levels built up though with all those gems. Although I'm not going to process all the gems probably because I'll still have to do glass blowing anyway. So it'll be quicker to get it through glass blowing more than likely. But the higher level gems especially I will be doing. Seems like I've found a nice little surf spot here. I feel like someone could still wander up here but... Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, green dragon next. I think I'm just gonna go back to the bank after this one. I can't remember exactly where the entrance to the God Wars dungeon is. So, up here. So I did make some burning amulets so I can get there very easily. I need to get around to getting a couple more Slayer levels at some point so I can use broad bolts. Or add it in at the minute. Just not efficient to be using these when I could save them for enchanted tips later. Oh shit, I didn't bring any gear. Like God gear. I'm just gonna get like that. I did not think this through. Get it so just the to hit me. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Almost dead. Okay, we're in 27 will day, so we can't tell it out from here. I swear I've already spoke to this guy, because I've got skulls off him, on not I? Now, I've ticked this gold helmet one off. Obviously, I haven't done it yet. It's the one that breaks my regions. So, I'm going to go do this after. I've just checked it off so I can do all the rest. Nice and easy. Oh, nice, he gave me a lot of runes. Okay, for this next one, we are going to have to try and farm ourselves some money key, which is a 1 in 18 drop rate from Chaos Dwarves, which are right here. First kill. Never lucky. Oh, I should be using Avers now. I'm dumb. That makes me want to leave, but I don't have a quick teleport out. I forgot I had Avers now. <laughs> Realising now I should have brought a slash weapon with me so that I could cut the webs to get to the thing once I have the key, but... All I need to do is hit the 1 in 128 drop of the Myth Longsword before hitting the Muddy Key drop. We're golden. Hey, there we go. Okay, immediately gonna get Avers and put it on my ranged and wild tab. <laughs> Don't want to forget that one again. Alright, and then we dump this. Grab ourselves one, not grubby key, a muddy key, and a sword of the wilderness variety. We'll slap that on, we will get ourselves a burning amulet as well. I don't even know if a looting bag works here, but we'll find out. Thank you very much, gonna grab a steel plate body for the boys, and I guess we'll just run back. Alright, so I don't think I actually have to complete between a rock, and it doesn't look like I have to do the giant dwarf either, thankfully. So it's just fishing contest dwarf kind of and then progress between a rock as far as we have to, so I'm gonna go knock these out now. There's fishing contest done. Actually got us a level as well. I think it's just the one. I imagine it'd be more than one. There's only 2000 XP. We're 13 k to the next level. Dwarf cannon next. Man, if I was settled, I'd have just lost like eight bonds. 
Well, if we ever should so happen to PK a Dwarf's Cannon, we will be able to use it now, but the chances of that happening are, are slim to none. Unless they pick it up, we don't get it. Like, if they just leave it on the floor like any sane person would. If you're using a cannon in the world, you know that you can leave it on the floor and it won't get taken. So, like, unless we come across some poor noob who doesn't realise and picks it up thinking that that's safer for some reason, and then dies. I guess it's probably never going to happen, but edge case scenario, we could PK a cannon. So yeah, I think I've figured out my closest way to a fairy ring is home teleport Edgeville. <laughs> I think that's the best I can do. It's a little slow, but I think it's quicker than going Grand Exchange and running around there, or running out and around here. I might be wrong though, maybe I should tie it. Okay, so I think that's all we need to be able to do, right? Schematic to make a gold helmet. If I drop this, is it gonna go? I've already learned how to do it, right? I'm gonna try again. Would you like to make a golden helmet? Yes. Okay, cool, so I can do this now. Oh, do I need this one? <laughs> try again. Okay, it's still giving me the opportunity. Perfect. Right, now I can go finish this task out. Oh my gosh. That was a close one. I need to be more careful. Actually, I had a panic attack then. I didn't realise I could use the lever to get back here. That must be from doing the easy one or something. Let's go. That is all of them done. May as well just go back through this way, seeing as though we know we can. In fact, I'll swap that left click so that it is always going to be Edgeville. Because we never want to go to Ardy. Let's go! We can finally get into the boss caves as well. Like Calvarian or Vetion or whatever. We couldn't do that until now, but now we can. Not quite a level there, but nice anyway. I am going to have a smoke break. And then we are making our very first trip to the rogue's chests. I'm not going to be farming them for a long time here. It is better to farm it after you've done the hard, so you get that 25% extra. And it's also easier to get there, because you can use the obelisk. But I am going until we get Dragonstone Drop, because that is the entire purpose of this entire grind. Right, here we go. It's the first time I've ever done this, so I have absolutely no idea how it's going to go. Fingers crossed we can get some Dragonstones and get out. I don't want a particularly long trip. I think it's like a 1 in 70 or something. 1 in 66 and you get two at a time, which would mean I could make a combat bracelet and a ring of wolf. Yeah, as soon as I see that drop, I'm out. No Chaos Elemental, please. Oh, did I manage to hop away from the Chaos Alley? Please don't hop into one. Oh, he's there. Going around the back. We get Prey Melee on. We're going to eat... No idea what I stole because I immediately hopped when I saw a person running at me with a D-SIM. And I'm not seeing it on here either, so I'm going to have to keep checking the bag. Okay, I don't know how long it takes to... Not too long. Red spider's eggs. I can see it in the log as well. I should get them tagged so I can see when they're ready. I don't know why this hide NPC's 2D is not working. I thought that would stop me from seeing them. Like, it doesn't work on the rugs. It's just really annoying seeing all this. Oh, we got some, we got some. Okay, I'm just gonna hope this takes me somewhere safe. Beautiful stuff, that did not take too long at all. I have no idea how many times we did it. Oh, I guess 20, 27 times. We got two dragon stones, baby! Let's have a look what else we got there. 100 coal, some red spider's eggs, law runes is really nice, nature runes are really nice. All of these resources are great. It's definitely a very valuable chest to get into. There's some great stuff here. Just big stacks of coal would be nice. 
Uh, you can get death runes as well, though they're not that common. But the law runes are quite common, and it would be nice to build up a huge, huge stack of those. So, yeah, definitely somewhere I will be spending a lot of time. I mean, it's my highest level thieving method on this account forever. So, I imagine I'll be spending a lot of time there, but I do want to get the hard diary before I properly farm it because that is just the most efficient way to do it uh, but we do still require quite a lot of levels to get there 9 hunter levels 15 slayer levels that's a big one and yeah the smithing as I already explained earlier in this video is slow as balls but that is fantastic we have our dragon stones we can get them in my crafting tab because I can't actually use them yet. Oh, I can make a dragonstone ring actually. Let's go make ourselves a ring of wealth. One dragonstone ring. Apparently I didn't bring the right runes. Or do I not have the right magic level? Ah! <laughs> what a little pussy hole. A magic level of shy. I don't think there's anywhere for me to get a mine bomb, but let me check. There might be a shop somewhere. Yeah, I can get him in camp to rum. Or in Mist Rock. I'll go Mist Rock because I can get there quicker with a pendant. Uh, no, that's not true. Yeah, it is. Unless I used a moth, but I don't want to use a moth. I'd rather use a charge on this. Oh, lovely stuff. I'll grab two of those just for when I need the next one. And we will go ahead and enchant ourselves that Ring of Wealth after all. We now have a wealth. No stats on it, but it will automatically collect coin drops. Which will make my life a lot easier. Plus we get that chance to roll the rare drop table every now and then. Very cool. So yeah, I've got a lot of crafting to do. I need level 74. We can't get any crafting boosts on this account. We don't have mushrooms, so we can't make the, the crafting pie. And we don't get spicy stews either. So basically we have to go for all our levels pretty much all times uh, outside of a few edge cases. So I'm gonna have to get on this this grind now. I guess I'll start by processing all of the, the normal gems. I won't bother with these all for now. Uh, I'll cut them, but I won't make them into jewelry just for now. But I'll probably make most of these into jewelry, maybe not the sapphire stuff. And then see where we're at from there, how much glass blowing it'll take. Which right now, if I was looking at lantern lenses, it's gonna take a, a lot, 10,000 of them. So yeah. I'm gonna get to work on this grind now. Another skilling grind. But at the end of it, we'll have a combat bracelet. We'll be looking like an absolute beast to go back into moons with a rune plate, a mixed cape, a rune kite shield on top of last time. We still need a rune fall, don't we? I'm sure I'll manage to acquire one somewhere. Things are going well, folks. I'll see you when I have some crafting in probably like two days. Well folks, it's been like two days. The last clip was recorded on Thursday morning. I spent all of Thursday crafting everything that was in my bank pretty much. I've got some gems left, but I don't have enough gold to make anything out of them. So they're just getting left over because it's not worth going and mining the gold for them. Yesterday, Saturday, I had a bit of a decision to make because I needed some more crafting supplies and I had to figure out how I wanted to get them. So I was on about level 70 at that point. I did some at the gem stall in Alderin. I basically just hopping the worlds, buying the gems there and cutting them. It was pretty decent. It was like pretty low XP per hour. It's good as long as the stock is there. But if other people are hopping through and you're not getting all of the gems, the ruby and two emeralds at least, per world then it's a lot slower and they do run out and have to restock for like six hours so i ended up deciding to go all in on air orbs i spent like 12 hours yesterday blowing glass buying sand and soda ash from the charter ship running to the furnace melting it all into molten glass blowing the molten glass into orbs while i walk to the bank rinse repeat then i had to go to the major arena rune shop by cosmic runes 20 at a time until i had about 5,000 hot worlds to get them <laughs> and i had to go and charge up all these air orbs at the obelisk in the wilderness i basically gained like no crafting xp yesterday but i'm up to 72 now and these 13 27 hour orbs are gonna take me the rest of the way so i'm hoping in the next two or three hours i will be done it is just time to process them all as staff, staff shop and i thought i'd just give a little update see where i'm at and i'm at two and a half mil at the moment i reckon this might well double by the time 
I'm done processing all these, we'll just have to see. Uh, but yeah, let's see how big that cash stack gets at the end of this grind, and then we can finally get back to doing some actual fucking content. Let's go! I genuinely feel like I could cry. I've been grinding skills, various horrible skills, non-stop for a week. I wanna go do something fun. Oh. Let's get ourselves over to that furnace. I have no idea what the cash stack's up to, because currently it's all battle staffs. I'm not going to worry about alking them now. I've got better things to do. And I don't really need money, but it's probably about 5 million alks. I had to keep alking them as I went to keep buying staffs, so I've done enough alking today. I'll, I'll do it at some point. You can see he did gain a couple of magic lols over the course of this grind as well, thanks to all the alking and all the enchanting orbs. How about we enchant ourselves a fucking combat bracelet? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I'm so pumped about that. What an upgrade. In fact, let's just take stock of all the upgrades since the last time we went to Moons. It was looking like this. I think that's what we had last time, pretty much. We've got the Mixed Hide Cape. It's an extra one melee strength and some extra defenses on the Stab and Slash. Very tiny upgrade, but... Nice to have. We've got this as an extra 6, 8, and 10 on the melees. Very nice to have. We've got Radus for an extra prayer bonus. We've got some extra defenses here and some extra strength bonus and attack bonus, which is going to mean our DPS is a lot better too. We're looking like a unit now. Oh, and there's the Myth Boots as well. Where are they? Myth Boots 2. That is an extra 7, 8, 9 on the melee defenses. Very nice indeed. I'm going to get the Explorer's Ring 2 as well for the prayer bonus. We're going to wear that, and I'm going to go ahead and make a Moon's Tab. It's about time. Yeah, so right now we've got 5 million air battle staffs. I just need to alt them. But like I say, I will get to it. Got the nature runes already. So cash stack is actually at like 5 mil. Very nice indeed. Now make no, no mistake, this is still going to be rough. We haven't really touched our levels at all, aside from maybe a couple of extra attack levels from grinding Huey. Our defense is still low, though we did manage to get our herb lore up to the super strength level, so that is going to help a lot, but we still don't have the super defense pot, unfortunately. That is at 65 herb lore. That's why I'm really hoping we can get into this grind, because we'll get so many herbs from the chests that we can get our herb lore level up to that 65 range and then it'll become even easier to farm i'll just get two of these while i'm here just in case lord knows i'll probably lose it i didn't bring any teleports i'm gonna try and do them without bringing moths so i don't have to bank a butterflies even and i'm gonna bring the hammers as well because they should be really quite decent at frost as long as i'm not taking too much damage ding Okay, I'm going to make sure this is on stab. This is going to be on its accurate, because we want to hit with it as much as possible. Uh, hello? God damn. I guess I didn't bring the... Oh my gosh, I didn't pot. If I did the whole first phase without potting. Because it was on spec when I came in. Shout out how whoever in my comments ages ago said that all you have to do is wait for it to pass you and then click to run. Because it 100% works. You can even pot this not looking too hot, but getting there. There's the first one down. Blue moon next. Gonna open with a couple specs, then move on to the hammers. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to go in that early. But we're gonna wait till it ended. I reckon the hammers are gonna do well here, but our defense is gonna be low using them. Hoping we don't get to add too much. Oh, look at these things, they're going to town on it. Absolutely beautiful. After. it. Oh, damn, it's hitting me hard. I hit a lot then. <laughs> Didn't get to do many hits. There we go. Oh, I totally forgot my thrall. I should be bringing that when I'm farming this. Definitely gonna do that on the next. Run or whatever. So far so good, I'm just gonna go and top up on all my food. Blood Moon is the hardest, don't wanna risk anything in there. Make sure we're back on a slash as well. Might get an extra pot as well. Alright, Blood Moon, let's see what you got. Just gonna use a couple specs and save the others till it gets low. Nice specs though, both landed. Not much progress in that phase. Like 50 damage. 
Okay, I'm gonna go with the specs again. Oh no, we were doing okay, but then it started healing up again. Bit hit and miss that phase. Come on, big numbers, big numbers. Oh, not from him, from me. I think we will get it, but it's still not pretty. It's very slow. It's just because of how much it heals up. But if it was hitting us less, it'd be healing up less. So I feel like defense is the right thing to focus on in order to have more chance here. Because it's not that we can't do good DPS. It's that we can't do good DPS when it's healing up for like the same amount as we're doing. Come on. Come on, big hit. No, it was so low. Oh no, it was down to like 20. Please tell me we are actually going to get it. Because I didn't bring any emergency teleports. <laughs> oh no, it just heals so much this phase. That is atrocious. What a crime. What an absolute crime that was. I don't know if we're going to get this. Oh. Oh, it just teases me every time, doesn't it? It gets low and then it starts healing up again. Well, we are out of supplies. Oh, triple heal was the last thing I needed. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, okay, so we still need moths. Oh, butterflies for that one. Which is unfortunate. I mean, just left to bank. I was really hoping to be able to do this without having to bank in between the moons. It's only plus 14 defense, it doesn't even seem like it'd be that much of a difference. Just gonna head back and hope it's enough of a difference. Okay, you got a full invent, four potions, the Sapphire Glacialis. Should be good, but I also thought it would be good last time, so I'm a bit disappointed to be honest. I thought we had made more improvements than it turns out we have. I guess levels really mean more than the minimal gear upgrades that I've had. Runeful would help. But yeah, a lot more defense levels is just what I need ultimately, I think. Uh, the good grinds to get out of the way anyway. Nice spec to start. Nice spec to follow up. Move too early. Very sloppy. Okay, not a bad first phase. Pretty decent phase. Doing a lot better so far. Those extra few defense levels really make a difference. Just up from a 10 defense boost to a 14. Like, it's basically four extra levels and it makes such a difference, apparently. It's gonna run out soon though, so things are gonna start getting rough again. Okay, might be time for some speckage. Gosh. Okay, that was not a good sequence of attacks. What the fuck, man? That was absolutely disgusting. That was honestly the most disgusting phase of this I've ever had. Down so much food. It's honestly ridiculous. Another spec. Nice. It's just all dependent on how much we get hit. If he smacks us loads, then he just heals too much. If he doesn't hit us, we can DPS him down. He always heals when you least want him to, which is all the time. I'm still really struggling here, folks. This kind of fucking sucks. Thank you. Fuck me. Chest number three. Okay, we got some Harolanders and a U seed. It's not terrible. It's a pretty average chest as far as chests from here go, but resources that we want, so I'm not going to complain. That is not farmable, though. That is not farmable at all. Okay, folks, well, I think after some consideration, I'm just going to have to grind out more combat levels. I'm going to need to go back to the Sulfur Nagua so I can have Moonlight Potions to sustain myself and my Glacial Tomotely for the extra Plet Pro bonus now. And then I'm just going to have to smack them for a bit and get my defense levels up at least 75. I might even just run it up to 80 because honestly, it'll be so much smoother once we do. Even though that's unusual to level up defense first, I feel like it might be a new meta developing around doing early moons, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping. Oh, I'm going to start with prayer though, because we've got some moons, and we've got some shards already, and we've got some la- what do you, you call them? Sunfire splinters, so we can get extra out of them. If you don't know, you 
put some fire splinters in wine and I don't have any wine. I'm going to go do all that. I'm going to spend a few hours AFKing because I've got some AFK time coming up anyway while I have to do something else. And then, yeah, it's more grinding, but I'm less miserable about it because it's combat grinding at least <laughs> rather than just endless skilling. And then I can just sort of AFK it, so it's all good. Are you ready for the biggest runecraft and XP drop you've ever seen in your life? I think I just came. I've no idea what level we were on before, I didn't check, but that was like fifth of the XP that we have overall, so cheers for getting me to 1450. I'm also up to 75 all combats, you'll see. Come on, please let this be enough. Let this be enough. I'm keeping these sulfur blades because I, I like PKing with them just as like a random melee weapon and they're only worth like 18k each. And you can see I got 72k there as well so I helped like 3 or 4 maybe of them. You get them enough that it's fine. So yeah, I thought I'd keep hold of a few of them. Oh, and I got a hard clue step that I can actually do. Should we go chase that down real quick before... In fact, I think I've got a couple of clue steps. Let's just have a look. Oh, go on, let's just crack these steps out what they are. I've got three and I'm remembering. So before we go to moons, I'll start on the hard because it's the most likely to fail. Uh, no, that's not doable. Oh, I should have put my ghost one. Primhaven dungeon, no, nope, that's another miss. And finally the easy. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Okay easy one might pan out. I think the easy ones are relatively doable on a lot of the steps. This so there's some still that we can't do. Hey, we got a casket. Nothing exciting inside, unfortunately. Three daily runes. Always nice to grab them when we hand it. Oh, what a beast. He actually gave me cosmic runes. 80. 80 cosmic runes. That's four world hops. Value town. I only need one of these per cast, so I probably don't need too many, but... A few hundred at least. Okay, 300 should last me a decent while. Fingers crossed. These levels and this gear combined is finally enough to be able to crack this without needing to bring in outside resources. Blood Moon is the only one we're having trouble with. I mean, the other two could be smoother for sure, but we can do them well enough. Blood Moon. I still haven't been able to crack without the butterflies, I don't think. I'm hoping that having the extra defense levels naturally will make up for what the butterflies were giving us. Still probably going to be rough though. <laughs> but we will be at max all the time. Max defense, what we would have been with the butterflies, rather than only for the first portion of the fight. That's the difference, basically. Alright, arguably the easiest one. Just realised my quick prayers out set. And I'm DDS fucking, that's great. Okay, kind of slow, but not too bad overall. Didn't eat that much food. This one's usually too bad, but we do have worse defence because no shield. Wonder if I can switch weapons quick enough with the shield so that I don't take as much damage. Okay, maybe I'm just being a dweeb. We're doing plenty of DPS anyway. And there's Blue Moon. Okay, time for the hardest one. Just need to top up on the supplies. Probably should wait for like a full spec, but probably not gonna. May as well make use of this full potion buff for as long as it lasts. I'll just drop one at the start. Mixed so far. Oh yeah, it. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I was a bit slow there. I also realise now I forgot to use thralls for that entire time, so that's good. Okay, I truly believe that was doable, I just totally fluffed it. I think that was much more doable than it used to be. I don't need the hammers here, but I'm keeping them because I'm hoping to just go into the next run, you know. If I wasn't such an idiot there, we would have took that, no problem. We had plenty of food, just can't get complacent with thrall this time oh i didn't bring the book of the dead okay don't worry about it let's carry on fucking misclick i would click my food and click my fucking rune pouch what was that oh 
So far, so good. Why did I say something? Okay, don't accidentally die again. Alright, he's healed up for like half, but whatever, whatever. At least we're not dead. We have lost like half an invent of food though. Okay, that was a kind of phase. Oh, that wasn't big enough. And I'm almost dead again. That was a close one. No, don't heal man. That was... No, you were, you were one hit, you prick. Okay, we've got another spec as soon as we come out of this. Into a normal. Not enough. That is. Four food left over. Finally, we made it out of there with some food without using a butterfly either. Woo! What do we get? Okay, I'll take it. I will take it. You seeds got a decent farming XP, That's some prayer XP. Nothing exciting, nothing we hate to see either. I have no teleport out. Bollocks. I need to get my book of the dead. I guess I'll just run to the bank. But then yeah, I'm gonna go in and do some more. I'm gonna keep at it. One book of the dead. Okay, we got the ghost doing work. Consistently hitting those twos. I don't think we need the thrall to be honest. We're good here. Uh, maybe I should have had him. We could have got it down that phase, maybe. Man, I should have definitely used my thrall. I went two whole phases after I stopped using it. The DPS is actually different. We would have got that done so much quicker. I thought I'd, I thought it wasn't worth the prayer points, but it's definitely worth it. No reason to save the specs on this one. Just dump them all. Oh, my thrall's even helping me on this. That's sick. Sick. One rotation. Used a bit too much spec there, I think. Way too early in the fight to be dumping all those. No way he's healing me on these as well. That is so sick. Like I'm getting back an extra one hit point every time from the thrall. The thing that hurts this longsword more than anything is its attack speed. I think it's a five tick weapon, you know. I'm going to have to look it up. I think that's what's hurting the most, is that I just can't get the same amount of attacks in in a cycle as you would with a 4 tick weapon that you more commonly use here. Oof, some nasty heals in that round. Get in. That was definitely the smoothest. Look at all that food I've got left. Holy shit. The thrall makes so much of a difference. Definitely worth. Okay, it's a 5 tick weapon. Interesting, I wonder if there's a Fortic weapon I could use that might be better. Perilous Novice, 5k C. Very nice indeed. We'll bank those resources. What combat points are we on now? Nine more to go. Maybe I'll hunt that down soon. Okay, well, I'm going to go take a small break and then come do a few more of these before bed. Hopefully get a unique, who knows? <laughs> that is another combat achievement, dealing damage with thralls. Lovely stuff. One potion, one food. I mean, I don't think I need to top up here necessarily. I can just go in. There's another one down. And the annoying thing is having to run back through to the room that can make us food. Wish there was a good solution for that. Damn. Kinda getting slapped. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better. Any extra defense would help. A set of dragon plate legs would be absolutely massive here. They're just only obtainable from wilderness content or the moon chest, which it's a common drop from the moon chest. But as we discovered, the keys themselves are not so common. Not the kindest phase. Yes! Get in. Chest number six. Water robs are nice. Harolanders are nice. Swamp Tile's not bad either, let me use low level herbs without secondaries. <sighs> Every time we get close, she gets a big heal off. This is looking sketchy, I don't know if we're gonna get it, folks. I have to use Heart Prey, you know. Oh no, I died! F's in chat. Oh, I can't believe I'm still dying, I thought we were good. 
yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this run then call it a night because I'm getting pretty tired. And then I'm, I, I know nothing's happened in this video. It's just been grinding. Like, I guess we made a combat bracelet and we got the graceful, but not much has happened really. I'm gonna call it on the video anyway after this kill because I need to get some out for y'all. It's been like over a week at, at this point since I've posted, so. I need to get this video out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, while I'm editing, I'll be continuing the grind, getting some defense levels in, and hopefully that'll make this easier when we do come back. Next episode, really, we should be in a position to grind out this a bunch, because we're close to it at this stage as it is, and with another few defense levels that'll come inevitably while I'm editing and such, what else do we need? Man, you know it's rough when your Thrall has a higher attack speed than you. Yes. Look at that, 12 food left. How do we go from getting KO'd with no food to 12 food left? It's crazy. Such variance in that fight. What we got, lucky number 7? I mean, honestly, I'm not mad at a maple seed. And so far, I think we've had herbs in, like, maybe every chest that wasn't a unique, oh no, this one didn't have herbs in it. Yeah, we've had three lots of herbs, two Haralanda, one Irrit, which isn't bad at all, and we've got some decent seeds for farming trees, which will get me a nice boost to my magic levels, so all, all nice stuff to have. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna grind some more, like I say. I'm gonna keep going, process these herbs, and elk that massive stack I've got for like five mil. I made a lot of money this video too, and got a lot of good skilling done, but unfortunately, we're still just a, a shimmer away from being able to take this more consistently. Hopefully, on oh, an extra five defense levels, maybe some extra strength levels, maybe a rune full helm, and I don't know, I'll look into if there's anything else I can think of that could give me an edge in this. Because we're only a minimal sliver from being able to walk through without having to, like, pick up food in between and stuff like that. Just need to get there. All right. See you next time, folks. If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you're enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go, so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other, and I'll see you on the next one.